water. Each day, humans lose two to three liters of water per day from sweat, urine, bowel movements, and even breathing. Dehydration can cause cognitive impairment, which leads to loss in memory, language, thinking, and judgment. Drinking the correct water amount boosts skin moisture, mood, and aging. In Haiti, women and children fetch poisoned water, poisoned with de deadly illnesses such as chloria and typhoid that can cause diarrhea, dehydration, and even death. Diseases from the water kill more people than violence overall, even war. The water affects education, health, poverty, women, and children. With clean water, 10% of the global diseases would disappear. The children and women could spend more time learning, starting a business, or caring for a family instead of fetching water. Education. School is not free in Haiti. It costs $200 a minimum to send your child to school each year. Families need to pay for books, uniforms, and pencils. 50% of the kids are not attending school in Haiti. Vector-borne diseases are spread by mosquitoes. They are uncurable. Zika, malaria, and dengue are the extremely common diseases. In Haiti, malnourishment is affecting 30% of kids. Just 25 of 100,000 people in Haiti are doctors. Effects of the Haitian earthquake. On January 12, 2010, a 7.0 magnitude earthquake struck Haiti. 230,000 people died and 2 million people were left homeless. There were 59 aftershocks that measured to be 4.5 or greater on the Richter scale during the last 43 days that the earthquake hit. Aftershocks were felt in South Florida, the Bahamas, Cuba, Puerto Rico, Northern Venezuela, Northern Colombia, Jamaica, and the Dominican Republic. Food, malnutrition, starvation, and hunger. Malnutrition is the lack of proper nutrition. No work, no food. Being able to work is key if you want food. Haiti had one of the worst droughts in 35 years. More than 1.5 million Haitians are food into 